We submit this plea to Your Excellency with a request to have conveyed to the Excellencies the Heads of State currently meeting in Khabaroni to address in earnest the plight our families and the country have been plunged into since May 2015. We wish first to express our gratitude to the Excellencies, the leaders of SADC, for constituting Justice in Papi Puma Peace Commission to inquire into former LDF Commander Lieutenant General Mahao's death and the so-called mutiny he was alleged to have he was alleged by the LDF and government to have instigated some of us our husbands were arrested or kidnapped tortured and locked up at the Maseru Maximum Prison under inhuman and unbearable conditions allegedly because they were part of the mutiny we had hoped therefore that justice and Papi puma peace commission would get to the root of the allegations and determine whether indeed there had been a mutiny in the ldf as was required by the commission's terms of reference it is however with deep hearts and sadness that we bring to their excellency's attention this catalog of developments since the commission of inquiry was established the ldf and the lesotho government have resolutely resisted all attempts by the lesotho police service and by extension the commission of inquiry to access important evidence around Lieutenant General Mahao's death. The evidence denied the police and the commission include the names of the personnel that carried out the operation that killed Lieutenant, Mah Lieutenant General Mahao. The weapons and the vehicles used in the operation to enable ballistic tests. Lieutenant Gen General Mahao's personal possessions such as his mobile phones spectacles and firearm. We have no doubt that this calculated acts of non-cooperation with the investigation were intended to protect not only those who carried out the killing, but also the politicians who authorized it. With the active support of government, the LDF systematically obstructed our spouses who were in their custody at the Maseru Maximum Prison from appearing before Justice Puma Peace Commission. It is apparent that the plan was to ensure that the side of the so-called mutineers would not be heard by the Commission. The LDF and the government sought to throw feather spinners in the work of the Commission. They brought a court case intended to obstruct the Commission from hearing evidence from soldiers who had fled to South Africa, alternatively to have their, their evidence pushed through a proxy in the name of Lieutenant Colonel Hashati. With the government's active support, the LDF has systematically defied numerous court orders directing the discharge of the detainees from Maseru Maximum Prison to be kept under open arrest. In some cases, the detainees were released and immediately re-arrested before they left the maximum prison's premises. Cynically, after every court decision order and release of the LDF meted further punishment by placing the consent detainees under a solitary confinement regime where to date they remain. Ironically, the same Lesotho government that supports the defiance of the court by the LDF has been at pains to claim respect of the law and judicial processes as the reason why the commission report should not be released before the Hashat case has been finalized. The LDF has added charges on some of the detainees for their testimonies they made in court papers. The purpose of such charges is to intimidate the detainees from placing any evidence before the courts. The courts of law have appeared helpless to enforce their orders 
on the LDF. The LDF has also appeared immune from contempt of court orders. Their Excellencies will appreciate from the foregoing the grave situation prevailing in Lesotho. The LDF has become a lawless force which does not respect the law and holds the country to ransom and impunity. We appeal to their Excellencies to intervene and rescue the country from this situation which poses a threat to long-term peace and stability in the country and the region. And yours sincerely, Professor Nkosamohau, on behalf of the family and the family of the detained soldiers. The Voice speaks for itself.